Hello everyone and welcome to another Meta Ads video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to apply cost cap to our Facebook slash Instagram campaigns, to our Meta Ads campaigns. What is a cost cap? A cost cap means that we want to cap the cost per click or maybe we want to cap the cost per lead or the cost per sale for our Facebook slash Instagram campaign. So we're going to come here to our Meta Ads Manager. And the first thing that we need to do is to create a campaign. But before we go there, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And now we can get started. So we're going to create a campaign and let's start with a traffic objective. So we have a campaign with a tra traffic objective. We're going to create this campaign. Now we are going to navigate from the campaign level to the ad set level. So you are going to click here and navigate to your ad set. Once you click and you navigate to your ad set, you need to choose your conversion location. So let's say, for example, we want to send people on the website. And Facebook introduced here what we now call a performance goal. So what is the performance goal? Here with a traffic campaign, we can switch the performance goal from link clicks to landing page views. And straight underneath the performance goal, we have the cost per result box. So you can come here and you can say that I don't want to spend more than $1 for every landing page view, for example, right? So, and that's what you need to do. The same thing now you can apply for any other objective. So let's say that we are starting a campaign and we are starting a campaign with a leads objective. So we want to collect leads either externally or within the Facebook slash Instagram ecosystem. So we're going to click here on continue. We are going to come again and click on the ad set. And here we're going to select the conversion location. Do we want to collect leads externally? Do we want to collect leads internally through a form? Do we want to generate leads through Messenger and so forth? And now we're going to scroll a little bit further down. And here we have the performance goal. So we are going to set the performance goal. And once we set the performance goal, then we can apply here a cost per result. So for example, let's say $10 cost per result. And this is going to be my cost cap or what we call, for example, the bidding strategy basically here. So we're going to cap the cost per result. You can apply the same logic with every campaign objective. So you can cap the cost per view, the cost per engagement, the cost per click, the cost per lead, the cost per sale. What should you put here as your cap? You need to be realistic. Realistic means that you need to apply a cost per result that is plus minus 10% of where you're currently, your historical performance is. So for example, if let's say you are achieving a cost per result of $10, then try to set your cap to maybe $8 and let the system optimize your campaigns for a week. If the system manages to achieve the target, then you can go and you can decrease it, for example, to $7. But don't give unrealistic targets. So if you run campaigns, for example, and your current cost per result is, for example, let's say, $100, and then you come here and you say, I want to cap this to $10, then what is going to happen is that probably your delivery is going to be very limited. So plus minus 10% on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, monitor your campaign closely, and then go and readjust. And that's how you can progressively decrease the cost per lead or the cost per sale for your campaigns. That's it. That's how you can apply cost cap on meta ads. Facebook slash Instagram campaigns. I hope you liked the video and you found it useful. If this is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day in any time zone. And